Shalom Aleichem everybody, hope all is well. Today we're going to learn a beautiful Kabbalistic technique on how to experience more happiness in our lives. It's a very great ancient secret from the, from the, the books of Kabbalah, from the Zohar, from our sources. And it's going to, if we apply it, it's going to really affect our lives. It's a very simple but yet applicable and practical reflection, meditation, tool to improve the quality of our lives infinitely and to, to increase our connection with our, our master. So first we have to understand that Kabbalah Hasidus, which is the inner portion, the inner dimension of the Torah, the secrets of the Torah, the spiritual inner dimension of the Torah, the inner spiritual fabrics of the Torah, they tell us what what is the definition of happiness and their definition, the true definition of happiness, is being aware of one's maker. So when one is aware of their maker, they experience happiness. The two are synonymous. If a person celebrates at a wedding, they are experiencing, and they're really rejoicing at a kosher Jewish wedding. They are experience a, experiencing a revelation of God. So now we have to understand, how do we, how do we become aware of our Creator? By thinking about him, by using our mind, our brain, which is a tool. The more we focus on God, we do his boinedus, which means meditation and reflection. The more our brain automatically starts to think about God. The more we push ourselves to think about God, the more we'll think about him. It will be our second nature. It will be a habit. It will change the fabrics of our brain. And we know that in Kabbalah, the spheres, the emotions are an extension of the intellect. The intellect gives birth to the emotions. When you think about something, you develop an emotion because of that thought. If you understand something is good for you, it causes you to feel a love and appreciation for that thing. If you understand something is harmful for you, it causes you to feel a fear of that thing. And even the the the, the opposite meaning, when you love something, it also you understand something's good for you, you fear losing that thing. So too, when we think about Hashem, we understand that He is good for us, we'll feel a yearning towards him, a love for him, and a fear of separating from him, God forbid. So this is happiness, we experience this happiness when we think about how great Hashem is, how he is infinite, he is oriented, so if his light is be, is infinite, he re reveals an infinite light and he's beyond infinite, and he, all of the worlds are just a single letter of his thought. All of the, even the greatest, highest levels of reality and existence are nothing but a single letter of a thought of the Almighty, which is of no relevance in comparison to Him. When we think about this great level, we'll automatically feel an excitement in our hearts to realize that He is Ihu Memale Kol Omim, the Ihu Soivev Kol Omim. He surrounds the worlds, but yet He fills the worlds. And even though He's fully present and filling the worlds, and there's nothing else besides Him, what we are experiencing of him is nothing but just a ray of him, and he is completely removed as well from the world. And in the times of Mashiach, God willing, this light that is completely removed from the world, this level of the divine revelation that has no relations to the world at all, is completely removed and beyond the world, is going to be revealed down here in this world through our service, which will be the greatest possible pleasure. I hope you like this message. I hope it was meaningful to you. And let's try to, God willing, take this into our hearts and apply it to get used to thinking about God more, being aware that we have a creator, and thinking about how he is good for me, how God is good for me, serving him is good for me, and going against him, God forbid, is not good for me. And that will cause us, our emotions, to be in place, to feel love and a fear of God, and to fear and to be on par with him, because our emotions really... That's where we internalize this revelation. God bless you all. May we experience this today. Hope you like this message.